let's talk about the blade assembly. Now, for pumping water, you want to go with more blades. The more blades you have, the higher the torque, as opposed to generating electricity, which you want fewer blades for a higher RPM. Now, since we're moving weight, we want the torque versus the RPM. Now, the blade assembly is a very simple configuration. It's made up of a nine and a half inch steel plate that has angle iron welded onto it. Those angle iron pieces are 11 inches long. And you can see that they're arrayed in a circle around it. This was the mo one of the most challenging aspects of building the blade assembly was getting that layout correct. Take some time, do it correct. Once you've welded your angle, there's not a whole lot of options. I mean, you can't do it over. Now, I had the steel circle cut out by a welding shop so that I could make sure that it was precise, a precise circle. That way we're evenly balanced. Now, by using the angle iron, I automatically had a 45 degree angle with, that I could bolt my, screw my blades to. Now the blades are made up, the blades are actually 18 and a half inches long and they're made from a sign writer from a real estate sign. And I just trimmed them down, I cut a little angle to them, wasn't necessary, I thought it would look cool, and then I rounded the tips also, not necessary, just thought it would look interesting. So the angle iron is welded flat to the steel plate and then the blades are attached with screws. I, ended, I used 12 blades for the assembly. Uh, it was a nice easy, even number and relatively easy to lay out. More blades could be added. The overall blade assembly could be made larger uh, if you're lifting water higher than the, the 10 to 12 feet that I'm lifting it. All right.